कुछ तो भी लाइव चल रहा है लाइव चल रहा है कह रही हूँ अच्छा everybody to be seated now they say that it's learning that never ends samvidya ya vimukta vidya sakala kari vidya atmajay vidya atmabodhi in walking that learning from the goddess we would now start with the policy discussion on the national education policy having said so i would now request Shri Kumar Shekhar Vijra Ji, National President C J R, and Chancellor Shomit University to present the welcome address. Shri Kumar Shekhar Vijra Ji. Good afternoon, everybody. It is indeed a pleasure for me to be here on. this very important eighth higher education summit of cegr in spite of the fact that pandemic tried to disturb everything tere aap dekh rahe hain ye seedha noida ke marwa studio ki tasveere hain nims university ke chancellor hain dr b s tomar unko samman kiya gaya aur shiksha ke kshetra se jude hue bade shikshavidon ka ye summit hota hai aathwa ye summit hai और इसमें लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट अवार्ड डॉक्टर बी एस तोमर को दिया गया उनके लंबे करियर को देख उनकी उपलब्धियों को देखते हुए और ये तस्वीरें आप देख रहे हैं सीधा नोएडा से ये तस्वीरें हैं मारवा स्टूडियो की पूरे देश के शिक्षाविद यहाँ पर जुड़ते हैं और शिक्षा की अलग से दुनिया को बदलने वालों का यहाँ सम्मान किया जाता है और डॉक्टर बी एस तोमर को इस बार यहाँ very much good evening to everybody and especially professor kk agrawal sir and ravi roshan ji give me a chance inviting me for this excellent academic function thank you very much well i listened to the very very enthusiastic speech of now the present president sandeep marwaha ji what excellent speech you given and whatever in spoken in hindi Uh, really i will i write down after you some days here that's a that very very good thing so i'm meeting you first time but really it is very very nice and third joyous to meet you similarly because wal sahab is a very dynamic person everybody knows him and in the past the sekhar vijendra ji who is our the ongoing president he really has done a very wonderful things in the past years and nothing to say for ravi roshan the young person he very dynamic and i have everything every time i get lot of enthusiasm from mr ravi roshan mr shah ji is again is a is a murti of you can say enthusiasm he is a advisor in the cbsc neera saxena ji ramesh unikrishnan ji and uh, shah ji and ravi roshan ji thank you very much well and all the my friends guests of the dais all our chancellors pro chancellors vice chancellors dignitaries in education thank you very much and welcome you all of you only i'll say being a doctor by profession we will just only think now it's very important to think because all think tanks are here i'll take you back to the after the first world war sometime in 1918 like that there a spanish flu came in india when the european and british the came army came they spread the flu spanish flu and that spanish spanish flu in that time of 1918 18 more than 1 crore people died in india what i'm going to tell you that and that spanish flu in slowly and slowly took 5 years and now we say only flu so everybody gets flu every children gets flu you get flu and all part of the life similarly now we have to think of the this corona and our higher education 
Now we are running in second year of 20, we started Corona, 21 passed and still we are in the capacity of Corona. We say second wave, third wave. We are now afraid of Omicron and I recently I heard that there is a new thing has come in US. That is the Delta mixed with Omicron, Demicron. So what I am telling you that it's like a Spanish flu in India which came after the first World War. So we have to live with this. And so if we go to epidemiology, I'm a doctor, so I'm talking that way. Any such type of disease when it comes, it takes four to five years to go. Means it takes four to five years to make antibodies to fight against that particular infection. So my friends, my think tanks, especially I'll say my mentor, Tijan Walsha, and many advisors here, we have to adopt something. Because you see, still we are thinking of third wave. That's why we are changing everything. Rules have started now. We, are, we may think of lockdown. Maybe even the partial lockdown is there. So how we can pull? How we can push our higher education properly by virtually? You see, everybody has got experience of virtual things, virtual education. But can you think? Can we think with this virtual teaching? Can we develop the comprehensive development? No. You see, students, they have only theory things. Until unless you mix up the certain personalities in between the students, or multiple origin students, then only the comprehensive development of students takes place. The question arises now, as I told you, this is, I am taking the history from Spanish flu. It is two second years going on, and we are running in now third year. Still the corona is there. And probably it will take further one to two years to get antibodies, protecting antibodies in everybody in every Indian worldwide. So what I like to the message, hopefully K Karawalsa will, will give some policy, some decision. Many scientists are here. How we can improve our virtual virtual education? Maybe some sort of a special digital labs some sort of virtual classrooms, some sort of virtuality we have to be produced because, because before that, only teaching by virtually, digitally, students, we cannot improve our education. We cannot improve. So I am just giving only thought to my friends, to all think tanks, some, some virtual labs, virtual teaching, a different type of teaching we have to adopt because this will continue. And it's still coming, I, I just, in my personal view, that if we take further two years to fight with this corona, so this, so this one month, two months, three months is more essential that we have to develop some virtual classroom, some virtual lab, some work of developing the, a perfect personality of our students. That's uh, my recommendation. That's my thought to all the think tanks here. We may come up with this thing. Agwalsa will lead us and in one month or two months with the help of IT people we have developed some sort of virtual lab, virtual personality development, virtual discussion so they think that they are really discussing otherwise they will lost. So this is the now present challenge in the field of higher education and hopefully with this meeting we will discuss, we will talk together and within a few months, we'll come up with some sort of virtual presentation of the classroom, virtual lab, and the virtual development of personality of students. With this thought, I'm just giving this, this my thought to my all educationists, all think tanks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.